Okay, so I did it. I started a project with only thoughts in my mind, and I didn't take the time to draw it out on paper or to use SketchUp or anything like that to see what it really looked like. In my mind, it looked really good, but unfortunately, when I got done with the project, I just wasn't happy with it. There's a couple things wrong with it. First of all, the aesthetics just wasn't pleasing enough to me. I didn't like the looks of it. In my mind, it looked much better. And also, since this was a bench for my mom, when she sat down on it, she's kind of short and her feet did not touch the ground. They just kind of swung there like a little kid. So there's two things wrong with it. And you're kind of tempted just to leave it. But yet, I knew I would not be happy with it and my mom really won't be happy with it either. So I decided to tear it down and start all over from scratch. And um, the second attempt I thought turned out much, much better. The second attempt took a little bit more work, but like most things, if you put a little more work into it, you usually get better results. Okay, I got the notches cut out in the stumps, and I also have a base unit for the um, for the bench built. Also, I built that in the shop. Now let's see if it fits. Let's see if it just fits nice and snug, or if it needs a little persuasion. Let's try it. I hope it fits. <clears throat> a nice snug fit. I'd say it fits perfect. Now I just gotta center it and level it up. So I can I kind of eyeball on it, but kind of also centering it. I guess I did a really good job on my chainsaw because that is nice and Level. Wow, it's hard to believe. Okay, we're going to use four and a half inch long screws. Still good there. Another end that you can't see right now, but that still looks good too. So, all right. Looks like we're in business. doing is I'm just going to put a screw in the very center, which happens to be 10 and a quarter. And this is just going to be a reference point for me putting the two boards on the top. This way I can put one of the top boards here and one top boards here to give me a quarter inch gap in between the two boards for water and so forth to go down and also for um, expansion contraction and I should have a one inch overhang on the sides. So let's see if it works. Okay now it's a big moment to t put on the very top boards for the seat and see if they fit in between the stumps and see if I have an inch hangover on each side too. So let's check it out and see if I did it right. Snug 
All right, and that one seems to fit too. So nice, nice snug fit on both of those top boards. Now I'm just gonna have to um, lay out here. Just take a screw here. I'm just gonna check this. Hold it here, hold a thumb, and go on the other side and see if it's the same. Yep, it is. I'll check all four corners just to make sure. Yep. All right, so I got the quarter inch gap in between the boards because of these screws. I got a one inch overhang on both sides. So now I just have to figure out, um, just got to draw out my lines for, to put my screws in to figure out a nice pattern because you'll be seeing these now I want them to be even nice, even up nicely. The screw holes, I mean, you know. So I'll do that. <laughs> The old saying is the third time is the charm but fortunately for me on this project I only took two attempts to get a result that I'm really happy with. I'm very pleased with how this bench looks now and also now that when my mom sits on this bench her feet do not hang into the up in the air and dangle around like a little kid. Now her feet touch the ground and she can sit here for a long period of time because I actually lowered this bench about three and a half inches. On the bench, I used a cedar stain. It's really meant for um, for decking, so I'm sure it shed the water for many years. Um, it's supposed to shed the water for six years on vertical and four years on horizontal. So every couple years, I'm sure I'll touch this up just to be on the safe side. I also put stain on top of the stumps in order to hopefully help preserve the stumps longer. So I'm hoping instead of 10 years, maybe I can get 15 years out of this, this bench before the stumps deteriorate too much. They can't be used anymore. So regardless, I'm really happy with it. It's six feet long. So if you want to, you can actually lay down and take a little nap out here by the garden. I don't really think I'll be doing this very often, but if I want to, I can. The main purpose of this bench is, of course, to sit at and just look out across the garden and the field. Um, there's no back on the bench so you can easily look either towards the house or out towards the field which is really nice so as a final result i'm very happy with both the looks and the functionality of this bench and what more can you ask for um for many years to come now either my mom or myself or other family members will enjoy sitting here um when we want, it just helps make the yard look a little more appealing also so i guess that's all for this project thanks for watching and until next time, have a great day.